hello friend welcome to another video about the lab view in this video i'm going to discuss the steps uh, installing the lab view 2023 quarter one in windows on windows 10 okay i have this software uh, i did i uh, you can install this software from the lab view uh, website i will give the download link so that you can easily install download from there okay so when you download it will be in iso file you can extract that file after extracting you will see these uh, subfolder and application file just right click on the install application file install this version of lab you actually have the uh, many toolkit installed so i would recommend not to install all of them okay i will guide you how to install uh, during this installation wizard just click here install lab view is actually very versatile software uh, many professional from different sector use the lab view so i would recommend you only install the ads on which is relevant to your requirement okay let's say uh, it's giving me option that what adds on you want to install okay this is by default programming environment lab view 32 bits in english 2023 quarter one this is definitely you have to install this is a base environment system after that all the things is the adds on what you want to use okay like that application software and i switch execution if you hover your mouse over there it will give you description right side here that what that adds on an application will do when you stall together with that like that it's giving the explanation and i switch execute execute 2023 uh, the intelligent switch management and routing application if you think that this is your relevant to your uh, work or uh, demand then you can check it otherwise no need to check uh, if you select all the things your application will be very high uh, in relevant application and our ads on will be stored uh, which will you're not going to be used in the future okay this is lab view real time module uh, if you want to use real time lab view 32 bit uh, you can check it i'm not going to check it uh, if you want to work on the fpga module then you have to check this one fpga module 32 bit uh, i'm not going to again check it uh, i don't work on the fpga uh, i know about the fpga but if i need in the future uh, uh, to work on the fpga then i can install it from the package manager also this is lab view data logging and surprise this is actually the dsu module you can see here this is the dsu module lab view data logging and supervisory control module helps you develop the hmi scarda and high channel count data logging operation this is what i am very much interested and because i work uh, in the field of control and automations so um, this module actually help you to read the data from the different controllers like plc um, any hardware which have which support the mod bus you can read data because when you install this one data logging super, supervisory control module uh, national instrument has a opc server ua it is aut automatically installed so by using opc you can interact with the different hardware reading data from the plc uh, from the multimeter from the power analyzer and many devices you can interact with that okay uh, this is also lab view data logging super this is runtime uh, i am not going to use this runtime or uh, i will just use the uh, main application uh, jkiv package manager okay i want this one because might be this software is actually used to install the lab view ads on let's say in the letter i want to install the real time module fpga uh, so uh, by using the jki package manager i will search the module whatever i want to install and i will install by the help of this application so i will install this one right now here okay this is again uh, lab view fbj compile farm toolkit i'm not going to check it this is vision development module i use sometimes this one this is vision development module uh, in order to the capture the images from the camera do image processing like that you can do with this one okay 
this is again FPJ. I'm not going to check this industrial control device driver. Uh, uh, I don't need uh, this industrial communication, Ethernet IP. I don't need NI series. I don't need. Uh, yeah, this is uh, NI DAC MX. This is what I use sometime. This is actually national instrument uh, DAC device, which is used for data uh, acquisition. Uh, and this is the all the USB and ZIP controller. Let it be a checked. Uh, Visa, sometime I need it. I will keep it checked. And I pack imager PSI perform service. Uh, I don't need this one. This is different DC power supply uh, and scope uh, toolkit. NI scope provides support for custom using NI uh, uh, oscilloscope products. Synchronization, I don't need. NI compact trio, yes, I need it. Flex Rio module with IO, uh, yes, I need it. And I Mac, I need it. This is to capture the camera from the your webcam. Uh, I Mac Dex, yes, I need it. Uh, this one I Mac, I need it. Okay. This is again switch FGE and DM. Many modules is there. Okay. Now going to next. Uh, the installation wizard again uh, gives me some suggestion to install the ads on let's see additional items you may wish to install okay again you have to check that which is relevant to you otherwise it will default uh, by default it is all checked if you did not pay attention this all ads on will be stalled without any reason and you will not be going to use in the future so please take very good care i will first deselect all and will check one by one which is driven to me okay flux rio uh, sometime i i could use okay advanced lab view advanced signal processing yes i need it database connectivity it help you to tool get a local remote that i don't need data finder desktop execution don't need Lab view execution, trace toolkit support, I don't need digital filter design. Yeah, I need it. Filter designing, lab view report generation. Yes, I need it. Lab view unit test framework. Okay. Uh, again, I don't need a VI analyzer, don't need MGI solution explorer, don't need NI certification, so I'm not it. And I compass of that. Yeah, this is I need. GE Vision yeah, driver. Sometime this is actually for the mm, network card driver might be i could need that's why i just check it or let's let it be unchecked if i need i will install it okay and i hardware configuration important no need and i trace no need i have you command line interface no need and i open module and i system communication support no need and i vision equation software yeah from the vision acquisition uh, this uh, i need i need i sometimes use it that's why i just check it and i vision common development support yes common support for lab view yes and i vision support for me no i don't need and i vision support for lab view 23 no 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 need web server and i web server development support no need uh, this is no need no need no need and i max support no vision support max runtime no need no need Support for C, no need. See how many, many are there if you don't pay attention. This all will be installed if you don't pay attention. Please uh, go through proper uh, install according to whatever your requirement, okay? Okay, going through down, IMAC support free, Mac support for, I, I Mac support for lab view, okay? IMAC DX, okay, this one also. Uh, okay, okay, okay. My support for lab view, compact trio, visa, runtime example, mm, visa C example. Okay, no need OPC server. Yeah, this is what I need it. Very important OPC server. This is the actually server which actually interact with your the controller. Um, uh, I mean to the PLC. Okay. TDM Excel that on extend the capabilities Microsoft TDM or TNF I written with the hardware application software. Okay, yeah, I use it. Vision Assistant provide Vision Assistant 32 bit application. No, 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 no. Linux, no. Web based configuration, no. Dynamax. Okay, this is all okay. Now click next. Okay, so what the important thing is that you have to select particular module which you want to install uh, otherwise 
the lab view stall all the things it will be going to very heavy because the lab view already is very heavy software so so that uh, you can uh, save your space and memory location allocations and also the system performance okay you have to just do license agreement just click next okay no no issue please disable windows file stepper password okay this is just prerequisition requirement that the lab view asks to just accept the changes okay these are all the modules which are going to be stored okay review the following summary before the continuing if you don't want to do or do any some changes you want to uncheck then you can go back and do accordingly okay but i'm not going to go back click just next no now it has a star started the installation uh, it take times it take times so i pause the video and we'll come back when the installation will be very close to end up and tell you uh, we'll show you how to open the lab view uh, first project okay please uh, stay tuned i will back to you very soon